In this demo, we're going to create a Pulse dashboard to start and stop some algo strategies in KDB Plus. First, I add my KDB connection. So host port connection type KDB, add. I then go to the SQL editor page, making sure to select KDB, and I copy the demo setup code and press run all. Oh, I've left the one at the start, delete the one, press run all, and I've now set up my database. It has a table called algos, and it has four functions, stop all, start all, set status, and set limit. We'll use these within the dashboard to start and stop the algos. I now go to dashboards, add dashboard, and let's name it algo controller. The first thing I do is add a table, make sure to select the KDB data source, refresh rate every second, and let's select from algos. Straight away we have our algo table. I can format the column as a tag, editor up there, or on the right hand side editor to make it look slightly nicer. I then want to add a form with two buttons to start and stop all of my algo strategies. So add the form, drag it across. In the far right hand side, add a button, and let's call it stop all. To that button, I add an event handler. It's going to push to the KDB data source, and it's going to call stop all. And they've all stopped. Similarly, I add another button, and let's call it start all. And I'll add the event handler to push the KDB to say start all. And let's change the layout to horizontal and adjust the layout a little. So you see quickly I've created start and stop all buttons. I now want to add a right click menu that will allow me to start and stop individual entries. So I select the grid, I scroll down, I go to interactive and I add an event handler. I'm going to add a menu type and again it will be called stop. And this time we're going to set the status by take dollar to convert the symbol e dot variant which is the name of a column within the table. Over here you see variant. The E is a kind of magic item that represents the row. So you can access any of the columns and then I can push it down to KDB. Or you could send the full E and, and it, KDB would receive a dictionary. And let's say for stop, it's stop. So right click, there's now a stop menu option, stop, and it stops that one entry. Similarly, I add another event handler, make it menu, let's call it start, and set status. It's like the same thing again, e dot variant, in curly braces to access the variable, set it to running, and we can stop and start individual entries as we please. You'll notice in the bottom right that message pops up. That's because the last table returned as part of that function displays as the pop-up. You could in fact take this much further and have the ability to set limits, adjust PL. The concept of variables is extremely powerful. If you want to see more Godar help documentation, hopefully you find this useful and you can build something good of your own. Thanks.